In this tutorial, you learn how to serialize and deserialize Python objects. This video is part 2 of a series. In this part, you learn how to deserialize JSON and create an object from it. If you have missed the first part of this tutorial, click here to watch it first. Otherwise, let's go. The serialized JSON can be used to recreate objects from it. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to refactor the code and put the serializer in its own module. And I can now simplify the code in main. I import and instantiate a serializer. And use it here. I test if everything still works. Yes, it does. Now I add a deserialize method. When the JSON module loads a file, it parses it and creates a dictionary. I'll print it and test it in main. Look at the output. The JSON file was loaded and converted to a dictionary. I extract the values from the dictionary. So, how can I make a media player state object from the values? Let me show you. The state class expects two parameters, but the values are in a list. I used the star operator to unpack the iterable and send each value as argument to the class initializer. I import the state class. This code should be able to create a media player state object from JSON. I test it in main. I use the values from the state object. And the volume. I replace the song name in the JSON file manually. And the volume. Time to test. I'll print the loaded state values and execute the program. Very nice. That works. The state was deserialized and used. Here is the serializer class with both methods. As you see, this loads and saves JSON in a very flexible way. But the serializer class can even be improved. Notice that the code has dependencies on the media player state class. Now, what if I would tell you that this code can be refactored in a way that the serializer has no knowledge at all of the object type it serializes? And if you want to know how that works, click on the screen and we'll see each other in the next video. There you will see how a recent change in Python allows us to use generic classes at runtime.